EXO Suho and the girl group Espa have recently initiated a high-profile lawsuit against YouTuber So Jang for defamation and slander. This legal action reflects a broader movement within the K-pop industry, where artists and their management companies are increasingly taking a stand against false information and harmful content online. In a world where the public image of celebrities can be easily tarnished by baseless rumors and defamatory remarks, these lawsuits underscore the determination of K-pop idols to protect their reputations and maintain the trust of their fans. This case is not isolated, in fact, it follows a series of similar lawsuits filed by other K-pop stars. Notably, BTS members V and Jungkook previously filed lawsuits against So Jang, highlighting a growing trend among K-pop idols to actively confront defamatory content that targets them. IVE's Jang Won Young is another significant figure who has taken legal action against So Jang, further illustrating the widespread concern within the industry about the impact of such damaging videos on their careers and personal lives. The lawsuit involving Suho and Espa is particularly significant, as it marks a unified front from both the artists and their agency, SM Entertainment. All four members of Espa, Karina, Winter, Mingning, and Giselle, alongside Suho and SM Entertainment, have come together to file this lawsuit. The first trial took place on September 2 at the Incheon District Court, a moment that could be seen as a critical step in their fight against defamation. SM Entertainment's confirmation of the lawsuit further demonstrates their commitment to defending their artists' rights and reputations against malicious attacks. It's a clear message to the public and to content creators that the company will not tolerate false information and slander. The charges against So Jang, whose real name is Ms. Park, are serious. She is being prosecuted for violating the Act on Promotion of Information and Communications Network Utilization and Information Protection, a law in South Korea designed to protect individuals from defamation in the digital realm. According to reports, Ms. Park created at least 23 defamatory videos between October 2021 and June 2023. These videos allegedly targeted various idols, spreading false and damaging information. Despite these serious allegations, So Jang reportedly earned approximately 250 million KRW from these videos, showcasing the financial incentives that often accompany sensational content on platforms like YouTube. So Jang's defense has centered around the claim that the videos were created in the public interest and were based on her personal opinions, which she argues should not be considered defamatory. At the first hearing, So Jang denied any intent to defame or obstruct business maintaining that her actions were not a crime since the content was believed to be true at the time of creation. This argument, however, raises complex questions about the boundaries between freedom of speech and the responsibility to avoid spreading potentially harmful misinformation. It also highlights the difficulties courts face when trying to balance these principles in an era dominated by social media and instant communication. The court decided to refer the case for mediation after the initial hearings demonstrating a willingness to seek a resolution outside of a full trial. However, mediation did not lead to an agreement, indicating the steadfast resolve of the idols and their agencies to pursue justice fully. The refusal to settle could be seen as a reflection of the gravity of the situation and the determination of those involved to seek a comprehensive legal remedy. This stance is important, as it emphasizes the seriousness with which the entertainment industry is beginning to treat cases of defamation and slander especially in an online context where reputations can be swiftly damaged. In addition to Suho and Espa, other idols like Kong Daniel have also been defamed by So Jang, suggesting a pattern of behavior that has finally reached a breaking point. Jang Won Young of IVE, for example, successfully sued So Jang for 100 million KRW, although So Jang's side has since appealed the decision. This appeal process indicates that the legal battles are far from over and that those targeted are prepared to see these cases through to their conclusions. It also highlights the increasing legal awareness and proactive measures taken by K-pop idols and their agencies to protect their public images and deter future defamatory actions. The outcome of these trials will likely have significant implications not only for the individuals involved but also for the entertainment industry at large. As South Korean law is being strictly enforced to protect the rights of artists, these lawsuits could set important precedents for how similar cases are handled in the future. They may also influence the behavior of other content creators who might consider producing similar defamatory content. The rigorous application of defamation laws in these cases demonstrates the country's commitment to upholding the dignity and reputation of individuals. Especially public figures who are particularly vulnerable to online attacks, these lawsuits are also an important reminder of the potential legal consequences of creating and disseminating defamatory content online. 
In a digital age where misinformation can spread rapidly, it's crucial for content creators to understand the importance of accuracy and the potential harm that can arise from spreading false information. The legal actions taken by K-pop idols and their agencies serve as both a protective measure for the artists themselves and a deterrent against future defamation. They send a clear message that while freedom of expression is valued, it does not extend to the point of harming others' reputations unjustly. As the trials continue, they will ultimately determine the extent of Sojang's legal responsibility and could help shape the future landscape of online content creation and defamation law. The decisions made in these cases could set a powerful example, reinforcing the idea that online defamation is a serious issue with real-world consequences. It's an evolving area of law that will likely continue to develop as more cases arise, and as society becomes increasingly aware of the impact of online behavior on personal and professional lives. In conclusion, the lawsuits against Sojang represent more than just individual battles for justice, they are part of a broader effort to maintain integrity and fairness in the digital age. As K-pop idols and their management agencies take stronger stands against defamation, they are not only protecting their own interests, but also contributing to a larger cultural shift toward accountability and responsibility in media and public discourse. This movement is essential for preserving the trust and respect that fans have for their idols and ensuring that public figures can continue to engage with their audiences in a positive and meaningful way, growing legal awareness among K-pop idols. The lawsuits filed by various K-pop idols and their management companies against Sojang demonstrate a heightened awareness and willingness to take legal action to protect their reputations. This shows that K-pop artists are becoming more proactive in defending themselves against defamatory content and misinformation, seriousness of defamation in the digital age. The content highlights the severe impact that defamatory videos and false information can have on public figures, particularly in the digital era, where such content can spread rapidly and widely. The legal actions taken by these idols underline the importance of maintaining a positive public image and the damage that defamation can cause to both personal and professional reputations, legal and ethical responsibilities of content creators. The cases against Sojang emphasize the need for content creators to exercise caution and responsibility when producing content about public figures. While freedom of expression is important, it is not without limits, especially when the content can harm someone's reputation. This serves as a warning to other content creators about the potential legal repercussions of spreading false or defamatory information, support from management companies, the involvement of management companies like SM Entertainment and Starship Entertainment in these lawsuits illustrates their role in protecting their artists. These companies are not only responsible for managing their artists' careers, but also for defending their legal rights and public image, showing a commitment to maintaining the integrity of the industry, potential for legal precedents. The outcomes of these lawsuits may set important legal precedents for future defamation cases involving public figures and online content creators. As South Korean law is strictly applied to protect the rights of individuals, these cases could influence how defamation is handled in the digital space moving forward, impact on public discourse and media practices. These legal actions could lead to a shift in how media and public discourse handle information about celebrities. There may be increased caution and scrutiny regarding the accuracy and fairness of content about public figures, promoting a more respectful and responsible media environment, strengthening of reputation management in the entertainment industry. The proactive measures taken by K-pop idols and their agencies to protect their images suggest a trend towards more robust reputation management strategies within the entertainment industry. This trend reflects a broader cultural shift towards valuing transparency, accountability, and respect in both personal and professional domains.